Welcome or welcome back to the Feed Binder. Today we are going to be making healthy whole wheat pizza dough. So let's jump right to the recipe. First, combine two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast into one cup of warm water. I'm using instant yeast, but you can also use active dry yeast. And I know that unlike active dry yeast, instant yeast can be mixed directly into the dough, but I like to dissolve it in the water anyway so that it gets evenly distributed. After that has been mixed together, add in 1 tablespoon of oil, and if you're wondering, I used avocado oil. Now we're going to set that mixture aside and either get a stand mixer or a large bowl. Then add in 2 cups of whole wheat flour and 1 teaspoon of salt. Give that a quick mix and then pour in the yeast mixture and mix again. If your dough is still sticky like mine, add in a few more tablespoons of flour. Then knead the dough for a total of 5 minutes. After it has been 5 minutes, put the dough in an oiled bowl and cover it with a towel. While the dough is rising, I'm going to prepare all of my toppings and I'm going to show you a hack that you can use if you have a food processor. If your food processor came with a shredding disc like mine, all you have to do is attach it, put the cheese in, and push down to shred it. I love this hack because it takes me a while to shred cheese by hand, so this saves me time and it is so much easier. Also, a side note is that I always try to shred my cheese and not buy it pre-shredded because the pre-shredded cheese has a coating on it that doesn't allow the cheese to melt as well. Now that the dough is done rising, preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you have a pizza stone, a cast iron skillet, or even a sheet pan, pop that into the oven too. The hot surface will ensure that you have a crispy pizza crust. I'll be skipping that step today since I don't have any spare baking pans, so I'm just going to dust my baking sheet with some cornmeal so that the dough doesn't stick. Also, feel free to use a pizza peel if you have one. Now we have another important step to make sure that your crust gets crispy. I totally forgot this step when I was filming that day, and even though the pizza still turned out great, it wasn't as crispy as I wanted it to be. So make sure that before you put on your toppings, bake the dough for 5 minutes. After the dough has been baked, you can put whatever you want on your pizza. As you can see, I decided to put on some tomato sauce, cheese, pepperoni, spinach, and olives. If you put that baking sheet, cast iron skillet, or pizza stone in the oven, slide your pizza onto that. If you didn't, just put your pizza into the oven with the pan that it's on. 
Now bake the pizza is still at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. By the way, this recipe makes two medium pizzas or three small pizzas. These pizzas both tasted delicious and if you try this recipe, I promise that you will barely be able to tell that the crust is healthy and homey. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram where I post sneak peeks of future recipes, what I eat daily, and more. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.